Expand your vocabulary with our core 2,000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free English ebook before it's gone. Hi, everybody. My name is Alicia. Welcome to the 2000 Core English Words and Phrases video series. Each lesson will help you learn new words, practice, and review what you've learned. Okay, let's get started. First is summer. 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 Summer is the hottest season of the year. In the northern hemisphere of the world, summer usually is from about July to maybe about September or so. Here's an example sentence. Summer is the time of family vacations and warm weather. Summer is the time of family vacations and warm weather. Summer is the time of family vacations and warm weather. Spring. 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 Spring is the season before summer. Spring is the season that comes after winter. It's usually a little bit rainy and maybe when flowers start to bloom and new animals are born. Here's an example. Renewal and rebirth are the elements of spring. Renewal and rebirth are the elements of spring. Renewal and rebirth are the elements of spring. Fall. 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 Fall is the season after summer and before winter. It's when it starts to get a little bit colder. You might see colors coming in on plants like oranges and yellows. Here's an example. It's already fall, but it's still warm these days. It's already fall, but it's still warm these days. It's already fall, but it's still warm these days. Heavy rain. Heavy rain. Heavy rain. Heavy rain is just like regular rain, but heavy rain means there's a lot of rain and it falls very, very quickly usually. So it might be dangerous to go outside because of floods or other problems caused by such intense rain. Here's an example. This heavy rain could cause flash flooding. This heavy rain could cause flash flooding. This heavy rain could cause flash flooding. Freeze. 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 Freeze can be used as a noun and as a verb. To freeze something means to make it so, 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 so cold that it becomes ice. When we talk about it as a noun, it means a condition where things can become icy. Here's an example. Some plants will die if there is a freeze tonight. Some plants will die if there is a freeze tonight. Some plants will die if there is a freeze tonight. Rainbow. 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 A rainbow is a beautiful natural phenomenon that happens usually after some rain. So after the rain has fallen, after the rain has stopped usually, you can see a lot of colors in the sky in this kind of shape, red, green, blue, yellow, and so on. So you might see this after the rain. It's called a rainbow. Here's an example. After the rain, you may see a rainbow. After the rain, you may see a rainbow. After the rain, you may see a rainbow. Lightning. 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 Lightning is something that happens during a storm. So there are usually two parts to a storm. There's the thunder, which is the sound, and lightning, which is the sharp crack of light that you see in the sky. So lightning refers to those light streaks that you sometimes see in very big storms. Here's an example. Flashes of lightning can be beautiful, but are very dangerous. Flashes of lightning can be beautiful, but are very dangerous. 
flashes of lightning can be beautiful but are very dangerous. Clear sky. Clear sky. Clear sky. A clear sky is a sky that doesn't have clouds in it, or there are very, very few clouds in the sky. We can see very easily, there's no visibility problems, so usually on a very sunny day, there is clear sky. Here's an example. There was a clear sky today. There was a clear sky today. There was a clear sky today. Shower. 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 Shower has a couple different uses. We can use it, of course, to talk about cleaning our body, as in to take a shower, and we can use it to talk about the weather. So when we talk about just short periods of rain, we often call them showers. Here's an example. April showers bring mayflowers. April showers bring mayflowers. April showers bring May flowers. Drizzle. 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 Drizzle can be used as a noun and as a verb. As a verb, it means to put something, usually a liquid, a little bit on top of something else. As a noun, when we use it to talk about the weather, it means just a little bit of rain. So a very, very light rain for a short period. Here's an example. A drizzle is a very fine light rain. A drizzle is a very fine light rain. A drizzle is a very fine light rain. Let's review. I'm going to describe a word or phrase in English. See if you can remember it. Then repeat after me, focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say the name of the hottest season of the year? Summer. Summer. And how to say the name of the season where there's often a little bit of rain but plants come into bloom again? Spring. Spring. What about the season that comes after summer, when the colors start to emerge in oranges and yellows and reds. Fall. Fall. Do you remember how to say the expression that means a lot of rain or very, very intense rain? Heavy rain. Heavy rain. Let's try the word that means a condition so cold that things can turn into ice. Freeze. Freeze. What about the word we use to express the colorful natural phenomenon that sometimes happens after rain? Rainbow. Rainbow. Now, let's see if you remember how to talk about those beautiful but dangerous streaks of light you sometimes see in the sky during a storm. Lightning. Lightning. Another one. What about the expression that means a sky with no clouds, with just beautiful visibility? Clear sky. Clear sky. Do you remember how to say the word for a short period of rain? Shower. Shower. And finally, do you remember how to say just a little bit of rain, maybe for a short period only? Drizzle. Drizzle. Well done. See you next time. Bye.